All right, hey guys, welcome to another Train Simulator 2020 video. Today we have the New Haven E33, also known as the EF4. Uh, and I don't know why I waited so long to get this thing, but it's probably the best 10 bucks that I've spent in Train Simulator, um, without a doubt. I've had a, a small play around with it just to try and get comfortable with it. It is pro range. But it's not that difficult. There's a few startup videos out there. I'm going to try and, and do a startup video as this uh, as well. Kind of kind of a review, overview. I don't know what you want to call it. This is just a quick drive. Uh, not a scenario as I just kind of wanted to go over the basics quickly and uh, show you guys in case you're wondering about the engine or you know possibly want to purchase it. Anyway, it's on the Steam store as we speak right now the 11th of April, 2020. Um, the thing is nice. I mean, just look at it exterior wise. Um, it's got running and cold and dark versions, um, manual handoff rated air pump to race the Panto, which you'll see in a moment. Realistic braking uh, physics wise, this thing is pretty nice. It's got a, a highly detailed manual, which I do recommend taking a look at. Um, it's got uh, a unique passenger view in the caboose, which comes with this pack, a uh, steel sided caboose, and also some brand new 40 foot steel box cars. Um, and it also comes with a GP9 in New Haven livery for AI use. Anyway, let's get started. So we are in the engine, cold and dark. First things first, I'm going to cut right to it. It's always asked, you know, by train enthusiasts and, and train sim and you know train sim world this thing has it and it's right here behind us a toilet guess what else it flushes <laughs> that is amazing i'm sorry that's amazing anyway let's get started this is where you want to start off in the nose so we've got the handbrake on that's your giant wheel right here. We're going to pop this door open. Complete the circuit for the battery. Go ahead and close the door. Open these uh, panto cocks. We'll call them panto cocks. Control cock air source. We're going to pop that guy open and this one here as well. This one up above, I believe, is when you're done operating and you want to shut her down. You're going to pop that and it'll close. So this is the pump. This thing is pretty neat. Um, right now, as you can see, it is down. So I think it's going to take about eight pumps. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. All right, maybe seven. Last time it was eight. Seven to eight. All right, as you can see, it is up. So we'll go ahead and head back out real quickly. We're going to put on the independent brake. Head back in the nose, take the handbrake off. All right, so our cabinet back here, we're gonna pop this open. Basically, anything you can flip on in here, you're gonna to wanna to do that. So we got the compressor switch, the blower switch, the main, the local, train energy, headlights, and cabin run. These right here are going to cut the motors in. Of course, you got to have these to be able to operate the engine. We're going to cut all those in. And this is sort of a test light here. Close the cabinet back. All right, so now we are in the hot seat. Let's go ahead and get all this lit up and started. Headlight control, we'll throw those on bright. We're on the short hood. It says right here, short hood. Long hood. Here's our control switch. The control light is currently off, but we do have the line light on, which is good. So we are drawing power from the overhead 25 kV. So we'll go ahead and throw this over to reset. You'll hear it click. The control light will come on, release, and it springs into run. Now you are ready to run. Go ahead and flip on our step lights, number lights, platform lights, and instrument lights. And 
by God, are these things gorgeous. Uh, by North American standards in train simulator, this is amazing. It's, it's repo. I mean, what else can you say? Anything Repo makes, I highly recommend. The only thing I don't have from them is the uh, the Baldwin Centipede, I believe, and the Southern Pacific GP20. But this this thing is all inclusive. It's amazing. I mean, even look at the uh, the notch gear handle thing. I don't know what the exact scientific name is. I'm not going to pretend to. All right, so we'll throw, we'll go ahead and throw her forwards and get ready to run two blasts which by the way the horn on this sounds all right as well it's got a long blast and a short blast and you got your bell all right so we'll go ahead and pull the independent brake off This over here, by the way, is your dynamic brake. Dynamic brake handle there. All right, so we are going forwards. Uh, this over here is your ATC. Uh, it is the New York New Haven line, which I forgot to add is what scenarios come with this engine, uh, which you get four of, by the way. There's two in a cold and dark state and two in a running state, and they all look pretty good. I'll probably do another video or stream um, at least one of those in the near future. But you can turn it off just like anything else on Northeast Corridor, New York, New Haven, uh, any of the Jersey Transit routes with Control D. I lied. should work though. I don't know why because you'll get little pop-ups in the top right hand corner. But anyway this time we'll start building up some speed. Uh, amps are starting to fall so we're looking good. We'll go ahead and look at the exterior of this gorgeous thing. The sounds are nice. Um, it's, it's hard to find file stuff on this as far as like YouTube. I've seen a couple videos of it in a consist being dragged you know dead cold and dark so that doesn't really help anybody but uh it, it sounds like i would imagine it to sound i guess you could say i don't know but the level of detail on this thing is amazing just the rust corrosion the scuffs scrapes the undercarriage the trucks like the springs they're not you know they, they look 3d they're not it's a it's a nice It's just, it's amazing light. The thing isn't beautiful, you know, it's, it's a funky engine, but model-wise, it is amazing. I am already head over heels for this thing. The Brick, aka The Brick. Big old 3x trucks. This thing is a beast. 3,300 horsepower, as per the name, of course, D33, um, built by General Electric. And a few railroads ran these. Uh, Virginian, Conrail, New Haven, and Amtrak even got some. Um, but it's it's highly unique as far as North American content. Like we don't have a whole lot of stuff electric like. To me, living in the South, this native Floridian electric stuff is as rare as something in the UK or Germany or France or wherever else. It just it don't exist down here. Um, so if you want something different, it's pretty damn amazing from what I've seen so far. I highly recommend this, especially on sale. This thing is worth every penny. 
um, by default, you know, standard retail price, but on sale, Let's take a look at the cars which come with the pack. New Haven 40 floaters. These things as well look good. I mean, look at the, the, the coloring, the shading, the rust, everything, the detail on the handle. These things are nice. They sound all right as well as far as run sounds. Let's see if we can head all the way back to the caboose. I'm sure there's a shortcut for this, but now I'm doing it. Sorry. We'll get back there. Here we go. Equally nice. I mean, the same. Look at oh, the rust on the top, man. That looks good. That New Haven, uh, it, it looks orange to me, like burnt orange. I think they call it Vermillion. lamp on the back there. Alright, and we go back to the cab and we'll see if we can head back there and take a look in the caboose. There it is. Jeez, even the, the interior of this thing is impeccably modeled as well. Just, uh, don't know if this vinyl seats all peeling and chipping just like the one in the engine. Which doesn't work. Uh, let's see what other views we got. Down at the bottom, front, rear, back up top. So I hit L and I turned the cab light on, which I'm just now noticing. I didn't notice this before, but even look at the ceiling of this thing. Jeez. The cracks in the roof. This thing is just amazing. It's several years old, but almost three years old now. And it's there's there's new stuff that's come out in the last month that doesn't touch this. Of course, you got the uh, whistle handle swinging, the noose, which is a pretty damn cool little add-on. Marvel, behold the seat. I mean, look at this. Like, if, if we had everything in this game that looked and ran and sounded this nice, I don't know what we would complain about. We, we wouldn't have anything to complain about. We would just all be... Put a little speed on her, shall we? Also want to see if I can trip the traction motors as well. Um, just like on the Class 86 and 87, if you're familiar with uh, the British rail engines, uh, they can be tripped, they can be overloaded. The traction motors will get way too damn hot. We'll be able to convert and they'll just shut off and see if I can So you're getting the warning right now. We'll just leave it be. Alright, so... I waited too long. We're already doing it at such a decent speed um, that it didn't trip. I think if we were at a standstill or very low speed, it definitely would have... Take a look at our uh, head out views here. Business as usual, looks good. The other side. You just, I'm, I'm kind of blown away, honestly. You get a lot with this pack. I mean, some stuff you get one engine, it's poorly modeled, it's a piece of crap, you know, unfortunately. 
and you might get two scenarios. This thing is uh, box cars that can boost. The engine, of course, is is the Apple, the Star. Uh, you also get a AI GP9 in New Haven livery, uh, old old high nose GP9 for AI movement. Which, of course, if you want the real deal, get the um, virtual New Haven Railroad, which is equally amazing. Which this. percentage down here on the HUD uh, for whatever reason, using the independent or uh, train brake. Not sure why that is. I mean, New York, New Haven, the, the, the route that we're on is already an amazing route. Um, I feel like a broken record, but I've said it numerous times. It's one of the best we got, North American wise. Um, and this just adds to it, you know, any any time you can get any additional stock that adds to a route that's already amazing. You know, why the hell not? by so we can go back up to 60 now all right here we go the horn does have a loop but it's sometimes it's noticeable sometimes it's not and it's not near as bad as some other trains in this game she goes that's it um just a brief run that's kind of all i wanted to accomplish here i hope you enjoyed the video if you did please uh like and or subscribe and if you're the least bit interested in this thing go check it out uh it's it's a hell of a deal on sale right now even when it's not it's still worth it anyways um take care guys stay safe and we'll see you next time